In this video, we're going to be talking about why you should consider buying the small rig NPF Z100 instead of the original NPF Z100 by Sony. So aside from the color differences, side by side, these two look very identical. But the main difference is that the small rig NPF Z100 battery has a built-in USB-C charging port. So raise hands. Who else are still using this guy over here, which is the charger or the Sony charger for the FZ100. So this one is very bulky and most of the times it's not really convenient to use this charger because of how big it is. Now you only need to just bring a Type-C cable and then you can charge your FZ100. It's the same cable I use for my smartphone and it makes my life a lot easier. So the second reason is price. This one is only $45 and this one is $78. So this costs almost less than half of the total price of the original Sony NPF Z100 battery. So of course, there are some quality differences. Maybe this one can hold the charge better than this one. But based on my experiences of using this battery, I've shot a wedding with this. I've shot like a little interview session with this. This actually outperforms this by a little bit, which is a good segue to talk about my point number three, wherein we're gonna be talking about capacity. So this one right here, has a 2,400 milliamp battery opposed to this one, which only has 2,280 milliamps. So in theory, this should give you a longer recording time and a lot more photos. And the fourth point is compatibility. So when the A7S III, which is my main camera, first came out, a lot of companies released third-party batteries and they were actually not 100% compatible with the A7S III. When you would use those third-party batteries, a message would pop up like giving you a warning that if you are gonna use this third-party battery, there is a chance that you might break your camera. So the good thing about the small rig NPF Z100 is that if you're using it with your A7S III or your A7 IV, I can't really speak for any other camera models, but with my cameras, which are those two, I've never received any warning messages or any errors when using the small rig NPF Z100, which is a good thing. It just gives you a little bit of peace of mind that your camera is not gonna explode, although it, it actually won't because this is such a very small voltage, right? And the last reason why I think you should get the small rig FZ100 instead of the original is that this one right here is a good battery to have in case of emergencies. So 99% of the time, I don't think you're gonna go to a wedding carrying this thing because first of all, this is not really a fast charger. This will take ages to charge. This one right here cuts the charging time by a huge margin. I think you can full charge this thing in just, I think two hours, but this one will take a lot longer. So having this in your camera bag without having a need to use a charger solves a lot of problems and will just make your life a lot easier. Having just a USB-C to charge your phone and at the same time charge this thing will just make your life a lot easier. So you are not gonna need this bulky charger anymore. All you need to do is just bring this small rig NPF Z100 together with the included USB type C cable. Just bring a power bank. So if you do run out of juice, you just plug it into your power bank, plug in another one to your camera and you should be good for a whole day shoot. So this is again, gonna be a lot more economical, a lot more budget friendly, a lot more efficient in terms of workflow. So this was just a quick video talking about the small rig Sony NPF Z100 and why I think you should buy this instead of the original. This costs a lot and I have four of these and I wish I bought this instead. So that is it for me guys. If you have any further questions regarding the small rig Sony NPF Z100, leave them in the comments down below and I'll be glad to help you guys out. And as always, see you guys next time. Peace.